All right, everybody, we're back again for one more video for today. Oh, gotta go get some fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel. That's what makes the world go around, I guess, ain't it? Getting ready to rain again. It's, it's nearly starting to rain now. It's drizzling just a little, not, not too bad. We might get all this done before it gets to pouring now. the gas station gotta get some fuel I'll be back in in a minute I'm gonna go right here and park uh, let y'all watch the traffic while I'm in the store and pumping the gas
Today. Woman in the register here at the store was running slow, the gas pump was running slow. This time I told you we was going to go down Big Elm Road, so that's where we're headed now to get back. This is the road I was telling you about the other day where the elm tree was like 30 foot across. and But the canopy was like 200 feet canopy on the top of the tree. But they tore it down and uh, for a long time all that was left was the stump. But they've even removed that since. But this is a historic road down here. Uh, to my right, you can't see it no more, but that's the Rotherwood Mansion. That's Rotherwood Estates right there. But the, the house, you can't see it unless I pointed the camera at it. But it's a real pretty old house. Yeah, it's right over there. You can't even see it anymore. This is Big M, though. The old Rotherwood house, you can't even see it from the road anymore. They planted all the trees and stuff around it. Yeah, it ain't, you can't even see it. That's amazing.
but the only time you can see that house now is in the wintertime. That woman who owns it, she's a real piece of work, that's what I heard. She don't like nobody coming and seeing the house. It's historic, but she don't like nobody coming around to see it. <clears throat> so she's planted trees over the last 30 years she's lived there, and she's blocked the house off now. You can't even see it anymore. She even come on the internet telling people to stay off her property. And that's something that's sad because you know the house is so old it was built in 1818 and it's uh, one of the biggest historical attractions around in this area and it was empty for a long long time and like for 40 years 30 40 years it was set empty and in disrepair and then a guy back about 40 years ago he bought the house this a you know, witch used to live here they fixed that house up since since she died he said she was uh, in the voodoo and stuff. <clears throat> That's what I heard. Anyway, about the Rotherwood, Rotherwood house. Uh, the, there was a guy bought the house. He restored it completely. Lived in it about six months. And he was on the roof. And there was a goldfish pond <coughs> on the roof of the house. And mysteriously, he fell off the third floor of the house, the roof, and fell off to his death. And he died. So then the house went up, and then this woman who owns it now, I forgot her name, but she bought it. She said she sees stuff in the house. Been plumbers that's come in and everything. And uh, they've run out of there and never come back. Left their tools and everything. But anyway, I'll hush. I'll let you see the pretty scenery and uh, let you look at the big Elm Road. <clears throat> natural car wash down in here too where you could drive your car right into the pond river or the little creek area where there's a tunnel and you just get a bucket and wash your car right there in the stream that's all grown up now <coughs> you can't do that anymore times change you know nothing ever stays the same right here so little you got to watch for other vehicles coming by because some of these curves and stuff don't have no room one time this was just a gravel road and they paved it finally about 30 25 30 years ago everything happened about 30 30, 20, 30 years ago It was, you can see up the head of here, it was where it's gravel. They didn't pave that little part there. This is a haunted, haunted road. There's a tunnel up here. It's called uh, Sensibaugh Hollow Tunnel, Sensibaugh Road. It's uh, Sensibaugh Tunnel is what they call it. But it's said to be haunted by a, a woman and a baby. 
she was supposed to, uh, or her grandfather, I believe, or her father, drowned her and drowned the baby, is what I heard back in the 1800s, or early 1900s. But it's supposed to be haunted by more than one, about four or five spirits supposed to linger in this tunnel. It's well known too, you can look it up, Sensible Tunnel in Hawkins County, Tennessee. There's plenty of YouTube videos of people who's come down here and seen it. <coughs> We're getting ready to come up on it. After this curve, we'll be on the Sensible. Come, guys. Get those windshield cleaned up. There's a cat. All right, there's the tunnel. There it is. Go slow through it. It's got water. This this tunnel always has water in it. <laughs> Dark, spooky old tunnel. <laughs> See how the river runs through the side of the tunnel. It does that year round. And there's the house that the man lived in that killed his uh, daughter and his little uh, grandchild, I believe, right there in the White House. That we just passed at the entrance of the tunnel. Old man Sitzball was his name. I had to look up his first name. Forgot what it was. That house is old. We're gonna pass by where we got uh, midnight too, my cat, midnight. This is the road where I got him on. We found him, he was just running and playing out in the middle of the road <coughs> and I stopped and got him. I've had him now for, uh, he'll be five years this July. Which it's almost here. He lived right at the top of this big hill right here, to the right. running from right there at that driveway right there. Can't see it, but it's right here on top of this hill. That's where I got midnight. And there's that white man I pointed out the other day. 
but they was close to where he, where he was. So far, I got a truck back full of groceries back here, and I was hoping it didn't rain till we got back home. Cause it looks like it's going downpour any time over that way, and back in the back of the house, uh, hill over there. trip out with me i'm glad i uh, hope y'all enjoyed the trip out enjoyed the looks of the sky and the weather and uh the roads and everything but anyway i want to close this out here in a second let you watch this last turn here <laughs> Like I said, fellas, uh, 
Be good, and I'll catch you on the next video. Be careful, y'all. Stay safe.